anytime something breaks at my house, the first thing I do is I go to the internet. Um, and particularly I go to YouTube to find out on the how-to videos. Well, this time my KitchenAid dishwasher um, quit circulating the water uh, within a two-year period. Um, I didn't I didn't know what my warranty was because I was at work, and uh, but I went ahead and called KitchenAid to talk to the customer service and see if they had my warranty information there. Um, there's a basic uh, KitchenAid dishwasher warranty, which is one year parts and labor, and then the second through fifth year um, is documented that they cover the nylon racks and electronic controls. However, when I questioned um, about the motor and pump, she said, let me check, and she came back on and said, oh, the, the pump and motor are guaranteed for um, from the years two through five. So based on that information, I said, okay, well, let me get your uh, factory service representative, A&E, to come out to the house and take a look at it. So uh, a week later, uh, they, they showed up, and I told them that I thought it might be just the capacitor because it... You could hear the motor making a humming sound, but basically, um, I told him it might be just the capacitor, which is that right there. So um, anyway, after he looked at it, he said, oh, you need a whole um, pump motor wash. So, and he said he didn't think it was under warranty, and I said, well, go ahead and, and order it and install it. Uh, because I just didn't want to fool with the dishwasher. So a week later, the part came in, and and then a few days later, uh, another A and E factory service repairman came out to look at it, and he said, "Oh, you're going to have to uninstall the dishwasher and turn it upside down, so we can install the the motor." And that just floored me. You know, why would you call a repairman out here for them to only tell you? to uninstall the dishwasher and turn it upside down so they can put the single bolt in this pump and mount it to it. I said, if I have to do that, I'll just do it myself. At any rate, um, you know, another week went by. Uh, they, didn't, they didn't come out to install it. Actually, they were going to come back out on uh, June the 20th, which was almost, it was a whole month after I had called them. So with with A and E, um, you're gonna have you'll be lucky if it gets installed or taken care of the first time. I would I would say you need to expect to wait. So basically, um, after that month, I just I'd given up on them. Um, if I was gonna have to uninstall the dishwasher myself, uh, neither KitchenAid customer care or A and E factory service um, offer any guidance. I'd watched a, a video on YouTube from uh, Samurai the Repairman. You can look that up on YouTube, Dishwasher Repair, um, KitchenAid or Whirlpool. He said, you don't even have to take the dishwasher out of the cabinet to install the motor. So, um, so basically, after giving up on them, I, I went to the YouTube, watched the video one more time. I'm going to let it play for a few minutes in the background. And uh, I was done installing the motor in 30 minutes. The only thing different about this video and mine was there was an additional three clips that had to be uh, removed that are under here. There was one here and one over here and one in the back. Other than that, this video uh, perfectly illustrates how to change the motor without removing it. So here's... Um, so going back to KitchenAid customer care, four different people told me that the motor was under warranty. Finally, one, one person, her name is Doris, at extension 7744, I guess she's the only competent person at KitchenAid that, can, that really knows what's going on there. So I would suggest that you um, ask for her and tell her Andy sent you. Um, if you have a dishwasher problem, this is just my personal experience, but I would not use A&E factory service. As a matter of fact, the, the biggest appliance repair uh, or parts center here in Huntsville, 
uh, they said that that's the last people they would call and unfortunately they're owned by Sears um, and going back to there was after doing all this the dishwasher worked great unfortunately there was nothing wrong with the motor the only thing that was defective was the capacitor so I ended up paying a and &E factory service $293 for a $40 part and uh, so it's really just the lessons learned um, I mean I can't vouch for the quality of any appliance out there these days they're they're all kind of uh, break down but, but I can tell you my personal experience is um, customer care kitchen aid the folks are not trained they don't they don't stand behind their the product uh, and in fact the the motor and the pump used to be uh, covered under warranty and that's what those employees maybe were looking at but either they got their reliability up really well or they were having so many problems with the dishwasher pumps and motors that they decided to take it off the warranty anyway if you if you have similar uh, experiences with a &E factory service KitchenAid Whirlpool uh, appreciate you posting a comment and um, if you need to fix your dishwasher motor pump go watch this video on uh, YouTube Samurai Repairman great help like I said I didn't have to uh, uninstall the dishwasher I didn't have to undo the wiring the plumbing uh, and I was done in over 30 minutes and these factory trained a &E factory service representatives uh, they couldn't do it so you would have to call a another repairman out to your house to install it for them so anyway um, good luck and hopefully you won't have these problems